how to use the studio in Calipe. The studio is where you keep all your shots and you can organize them in scenes and folders. When you start your studio is empty and then you can just create a new shot, a new scene or a new folder. Tap on new shot to define the settings of your first shot. You can set the name, choose a preset, define with a double tap the pixel size of your shot. Here I create a 4K one. The preset become custom and I can tap on add preset, tap 4K and now my preset is in my list. And I can long touch on a preset to change the order. I can slide to rename or delete a preset. Then you can define your FPS, the length of your animation, but you can change it later. And you can even decide to create several shots within a scene. And then I have a new scene here, including three shots. I go back with that button here. I can also create a new scene from the new scene button, test, and I can tap on the plus icon on the scene to create a new shot in it. Tap on new folder to create a new folder. The folders are displayed at the bottom of your studio. It's always organized with the shots at the top, then the scenes, and then the folders. Tap on import to either take a photo, select a file in your photo album, in your files, or import an image sequence to create a new shot. Here, I will delete with the menu my different scenes. And we will go back to that menu right after. You can change the order of shots, scenes, folder, but you can decide how the elements are sorted. By default, it's the most recent files. If I open the train and go back to the studio, it will be first. I can choose user order, and now I can choose myself the order of my shots can long touch and drag to change the order. And the same goes for the scenes. Long touch and drag it somewhere else. And the last one, alphabetical. It will just sort your shots, scenes and folders in alphabetical order. I go back to most recent files. I can select one shot, long touch on it and drag it in a scene or outside of a scene. I can drag and drop a scene within another scene and it will become a folder containing my two scenes. I don't touch here and my scenes are back in the main part of the studio. That folder here is now empty, so I delete it. If I long touch on one shot and drag it on another one, I can create a scene or a folder from it. And then I can just tap the menu and split my group. And the shots are back in the shots part of the studio. The shots, the scenes and the folders have menus. You can tap here. You can rename, compress, which is very useful because it will compress your shot into an archive, which you can decompress later. And your shot size will be way lighter. This shot is almost 2 GB. And if I tap compress, it's now almost 6 MB. So it's way, way lighter. And at any time, I just tap decompress if I want to open it and work on it again. From the menu of a shot, I can also duplicate, delete, export. So I have the same export panel that I have within a shot. And I can decide to export my animation as an MP4 from here. You have other types of exports, export images, will export only images from that file into PNG files in a folder. So if you have an issue with the specific file, you can just export raw images and then import again and redo your timing if necessary. And then you can decide to export to the app folder, which means exporting to on my iPad Calipeg. So you can access it more easily without having to go into your studio. In the menu of a scene, you can rename, export. So it will export all the shots within your scene. You can duplicate, you can split. It went far away, so I just go to user order and then it's here. And if you delete your scene, it will delete all the shots within it. On the left side of your interface, you have access to the studio filters. You can open or hide it with that button. You have different categories, shots, scenes, folders, and colors. If you tap on shots only, 
you will see only the shots not contained in a scene or a folder. If you tap uncompressed, you will see only the uncompressed shots, which is every shot here. So I could compress that one and that one. And if I tap uncompressed, I won't see them anymore. But if I tap compressed, I will see them only. I tap again to remove the filter. If I tap only on scenes, I will see my scenes only. If I tap on eating, I will see only the scenes within the scene eating, which is not possible because the scene cannot contain a scene. So I tap again on only, and I will see the content of the eating scene. Same goes for the folders, only. And then the content of folders. At any point, I can just reset filters. The colors filters are the colors you assign to your shots. There are a few colors by default. If your shot is OK, to do, work in progress, or retake. If I want to say that the pendulum is OK, I long touch on OK and drag it here. If I tap on the label, I have access to the list. I can also import another list. I can tap none. I can also add a color. For example, final, and then I can assign final for this shot. It's a color list, so it works the same way the layers colors does, but there are two separate lists. I can tap on the menu, export the list, import it, so you can share your studio color list to your team, for example. And you can also create a new list. And I delete my customized list. And even the final here, I can slide edit my color and the name, rename or delete. And you can see it was deleted here too. You can select several shots with the select button here. I select those and say work in progress. So you can assign colors to several shots at once. I can unselect. I can also select shots within scenes and say to do and done. I can select all for a specific task deselect, and it can be nice to select several scenes, go to export, and it will export all the shots within my scenes. So I can decide, okay, I'm going to go to After Effects and export all my shots. In the selection here, I can tap on More and duplicate several shots. I can also compress them all at once, Group, to create a new scene or folder, and clear color tags, so all labels are removed. And the filters, of course, work with the colors too. So I can filter all the OK within square, and it will be only that one. And at any point, I can just tap Reset Filters. You can search for a specific element by tapping in the search bar, for example, Fruits, and I have my shot here. If I long touch, I can decide to open or reveal it in the studio. If I type Cycle, it will go to my work cycle scene. A folder can contain scenes. For example, I long touch and drag it in short film. And when you search for an element, it can be either a shot, a folder, or a scene. You can scroll here and choose what shot to open. At the bottom of the sidebar, you have the possibility to compress all your shots to gain space. You can see the total number of shots within your studio. Here it's 65 and it takes almost 100 gigabytes. And you can see your storage left in your iPad. For example, if I select different shots that I compress, so you can see here, just with a few compression, I was able to gain 30 gigabytes in my studio.